Are you serious? Are you serious? We have breaking news coming out of Hawaii. Breaking news out of Hawaii. There's no doubt about this. Uh, the may one of the Hawaiian mayors has just thrown his hands up and said, "You're on your own. Get out. You're on your own." As uh, it is getting to become very, very serious there right now. Uh, let me give you what the report is, and I want to thank all of you that have joined me live. Uh, I know it's very early in the morning back in uh, the East Coast of the United States. It is ele- it is 12.34 here in Jerusalem. But let me tell you what's going on. The Hawaiian volcano is the epicenter of the apocalypse. It's right in the center of the ring of fire. And it is literally, the mountain is shaking like crazy. Uh, the, the lava is flowing now fast. It is speeding up. That's a, it's an incredible situation developing there. We need people praying. There's been 117 earthquakes in the last 24 hours with the majority of them. I mean, literally, the main, main, main issue here is Hawaii. It is shaken and quaking. There's no question about it. Uh, something biblical is going on with the signs of the second coming of Christ. I know it's very early in the morning. Uh, let's see, what is it? Uh, 12, it's like 5.30 in the morning, something like that, back in uh, in the East Coast. Here's what the report is. You're on your own. Uh, you're on your own. That's what the mayor uh, is saying. He is warning the people of Hawaii who defy the volcano evacuation orders. Hawaiians who refuse to leave their homes when faced with this fast-moving lava flows from the volcano, you're on your own, warns the mayor. Uh, County Mayor Harry Kim issued the warning as the rivers, literally rivers of molten rock, threatened to engulf entire neighborhoods on the eastern side of the Big Island. The mayor, Mr. Kim, said those who decline to evacuate are on their own. Our first responders would cease going door to door in dangerous areas once the final evacuation orders are issued. First responders put themselves in danger trying to help people who had refused to evacuate. More than 2,500 people have fled their homes since the volcano erupted more than three weeks ago. And residents there in Kapoho Beach uh, and the vacation land have been advised to evacuate by the Hawaii County Civil Defense Agencies right now. It warned that the beach road east of Highway 137 was at risk of possible lava inundation which could trap residents in the area. Officials said lava is flowing from Fisher Number 8 was fueling the river of lava that's flowing down Highway 132 and was moving at an accelerated, rare, uh, accelerated rate of 10 yards a minute. It's insane, folks, what is going on right now. Earlier, residents had been advised to take shelter at the Pahoa Community Center and, uh, and other community centers, including the Sure Foundation Church. Authorities said the lava had already destroyed uh, 75 homes in one area, uh, but we know now that it was up to 82 homes. Now we know it's up over 100 homes. In the last two days, uh, there's been another 20 homes that have been destroyed, but now it's getting very dangerous, a volcanic haze has now drifted some 4,000 miles away all the way to the U.S. territory of Guam. Uh, and they've issued, the telling the residents of Guam, 4,000 miles away, that, that if you have respiratory problems, you need to stay indoors. The haze is visible. The haze is carrying hair-like shards of glass from the volcano. It's in the haze. It's also causing major problems for in the Marina Islands. There is also a danger of VOG. It's a volcanic smog, which is a noxious haze created when sulfur dioxide gas and other volcanic pollutants 
mixed with the moisture and dust which can cause eye, skin, and respiratory irritation. Residents have also been warned to be on the lookout for Pele's hair, that is the shards of thin strands of volcanic glass fibers which are being carried in the air. And a civil defense spokesperson said, avoid touching it or getting it in your eyes. It can cause injury to the eyes, the lungs, if you breathe it. It's a very serious situation developing. Um, the mayor of one of the towns is saying, Mr. Kim is saying, you're on your own. We're putting out the final warning now. The final evacuation warnings are now. If you don't leave now, if you don't leave when we tell you to leave, you're on your own. We're not sending in the first responders. You're just going to be on your own. It's too dangerous uh, to fly in there. I want to say shalom, shalom to everybody out there watching live. Thank you guys for joining me. I know it's very early in the morning there in the East Coast. It's uh, very early in the morning, but here in uh, Jerusalem, I've just been on, uh, I don't know, a five-mile hike, I guess, already this morning, Sister Heidi and I, and we have done some filming of some unbelievable, uh, uh, unbelievable stuff that no one ever sees. We have a guy, though, here in Jerusalem that knows things that no one else does, really, and took us to some incredible locations that are off the grid, and uh, we filmed in those locations, and we'll be bringing that footage to you. I've already put one up for you, just one little one, but there's some uh, great stuff we'll be bringing to you a little bit later. Uh, but still, we're praying for everybody in Hawaii. We understand this is a very serious situation. Uh, I want to roll back something. There's been reports that the, the Israel was getting ready for a ground invasion. I've seen somebody did a video, and, and uh, there's no such thing even, even being thought of. So it's important to understand that some of the guys out there uh, don't know what's going on. But the, trust me, there's no ground invasion even in the works here in Israel. Look, Hamas fired 130 rockets or mortars out of Gaza into Israel and injured five Israeli soldiers. Israel responded with airstrikes hitting 55 Hamas targets, injuring no one that we know of. Hamas said... Enough. Okay, enough, enough. Can we have a ceasefire? Israel said, sure. Stop firing rockets. We won't retaliate. But if you fire rockets, we're coming at you. And for the last now 30 hours or so, there's been no, no confrontation. Now, meanwhile, uh, there was never, never a thought of a ground invasion by Israel. Okay? Israel just was doing what they normally do. If you fire on them, they will respond a little harder than what you fire at them. That has been their rule, and they always say that. So let's put that to bed right away. So as far as the safety here, perfect safety. I mean, look, Gaza is way over there, not even close to Jerusalem or Tel Aviv or to Haifa or any of those cities. And uh, it has been very calm, very peaceful here in Jerusalem this week, despite the fact this is Ramadan. I mean, this is Ramadan right now. We're in the middle of it, but it's been very peaceful. I, I just walked, Sister Heidi and I just walked literally almost all the way around the city of Jerusalem, but on foot, including going through uh, East Jerusalem, actually going right to uh, uh, some of the uh, Arabic Muslim uh, neighborhoods, no problems. And uh, it was part of the reason we went through that direction is because of some of the areas we needed to film that were very historical and biblical. So again, if you're planning on coming to Israel with Sister Heidi and I, if you're coming with me to Israel, I want you to know you need to get signed up. You need to go to my website at paulbeckleyprophecy.com and you need to sign up right away and plan on coming with me to Israel in October. Uh, our tour is October the 8th through the 18th, but you got to get your, signed up. You got to get it you got to get it signed up now. You got to get signed up now. Put some money down on it. They'll tell you what to do. Go to my website. Call the phone number that's there. Uh, ask to come to Israel with Pastor Paul Bailey. We've got over 50 some people already signed up. Get signed up and be with us. We'll be riding on the buses with you. We'll be sharing all the time with you. It's going to be incredible. Unbelievable tour. And we go places that no other tours will even go. We'll take you to, to the best places, 
uh, I mean, the garden tomb, you take communion with us at the garden tomb, you take a boat ride across the Sea of Galilee with us, uh, I mean, go to Golgotha, the Wailing Wall, the Temple Mount, everywhere. I mean, just, the, you get baptized in the Jordan River, just everywhere. We take you to the best of the best. You can go to Armageddon, or, or, or what's called the Valley of Megiddo. We're going to go on Mount Carmel, where Elijah called down the fire from heaven. Uh, I'll baptize you in the Jordan River if you want to. There, it's just, it's, it's an incredible tour, and I want you to come be with it. it you'll be blessed. You can, you'll meet new people. You'll share a lot of the online um, followers, people right here on YouTube. So please plan on coming to Israel with me. But the deadline, the drop dead deadline is July 25th. You have to be paid in full by July 25th. So you need to go ahead and get your seat reserved right now. Get your seat reserved. And then you got between now and July 25th to pay for it in full and be ready to go in October when we go. Now, back to Hawaii. This is serious, guys. I'm very concerned about it. The mayor says, you're on your own. You need to get out now. Some of the towns, look, and the lava is really flowing. And so if you're just now waking up over on the East Coast, if you're just now waking up, I got to tell you something. You need to really pray for the people in Hawaii, in the Big Island. Matter of fact, I was talking to folks today here in Israel. They see this as a very spiritual thing going on. They, they see it as God's hand is involved in this. It could go either way, and I think it's real important. Uh, we need to pray for the folks that are in the Big Island. Look, folks, look at the ring of fire. Look at the ring of fire. Hawaii sits right in the middle of it. It is the epicenter of the apocalypse. And God has shaken the heavens and the earth. But there's nothing like this. It's been going on a month. We have haze. You have lays. We have fog. We have smog. We have smoke. We have ash. We have molten lava. The magma is moving. It's even affecting Yellowstone. There's a connection there. And Mary Greeley shared that with us on a live broadcast we did. I mean, this is very serious what's happening, and uh, I'm very concerned about it. And so we're reaching out for prayer warriors, and uh, I'm going to be going down to the uh, Western Wall. Hi, I could show them that, if that uh, just to show them, then you're, we're going to, you're going to put it all together for them. But since I'm live right now, I'll just give them an idea. Well, this is, uh, I brought this with me, but of course this is, uh, prayers, all the cards, letters, uh, all the prayers that came in. We printed them all from uh, all of the people who sent in the their prayer request. We're ta I'm taking this entire packet with me to the wall and uh, going to go before the Lord in prayer. Now, before we go, we're going to actually be laying them out here on the bed. We'll be praying over these. Every one of these have been individually prayed for already. Each one individually we've prayed for before we ever left America. So we've already been praying for the needs of the people. But we're, we're here in Jerusalem. We're going to be praying for them here in the room. Uh, we'll be taking pictures of them and putting together a uh, presentation for you on this. We feel like this is very important. These, these are the letters. This is the offerings and the letters and the prayer requests that came in for the Feast of Pentecost. And now we're getting ready to take these. We pray with the, if you did, if you gave your offering or your prayer request through uh, at my website, clicked on the button and sent it that way, we printed it off. It's in here. If you wrote your letters and, and sent your offering in by mail, we put them in here. It's all in here. And we're going to be uh, praying over these this morning here in the hotel room. And then this afternoon, I'm going to the wall. I'm going to go to the wall. They're the Western Wall, the Wailing Wall, and we're going to bring these before the Lord, and we're going to pray and ask God to grant. We're going to bring them before the Lord. We've already been praying, but we're going to pray, and I want you to be praying uh, for God's hand. There's people that are sick. There's people with tumors. There's people with cancers, leukemias. We have people with heart conditions, people with liver transplants. we got folks with heart transplants. We have people with all kinds of illnesses and sicknesses and breathing, uh, uh, lung cancers and breathing problems and digestive cancers, 
of different type. We have folks, uh, we have children that are very sick. We have uh, people that aren't saved. We have marriages that need to be put back together. There are people in here who have prayer requests, financial prayer requests, businesses that need turnaround, folks that are asking God's blessing. And you know, the Bible says that the Lord, that you are blessed and highly favored. So we're going to be praying. And now, that every one of these have individually been prayed over. We're going to pray for them all again here in the hotel room and then take them all to the wall where I will go before the Lord at the western wall, the waiting wall, and bring these before the Lord. That's going to happen today, and I just want to let you know that. We'll talk about it later tonight when I go live tonight, which is your 12 noon Eastern, okay? We'll be uh, sharing that with, I'll be back live uh, at 12 noon Eastern today. That's your daytime. Uh, again, I, I want to finish by saying pray for Hawaii. This is a very serious situation there. They really need our prayers. The mayor has thrown up his hands, and one of the mayors says, get out now. You get out right now. If not, you're on your own. So it's a very critical time, and this volcano is rumbling. It's shaking. There's 117 earthquakes the last 24 hours. I can check it right now. 117 earthquakes the last 24 hours, and uh, over 80 of those are Hawaii. It's It's been going on for day after day after day. Folks, it's a very serious situation, um, so we really need to pray for all the people uh, in uh, Hawaii, and uh, also praying for people all over the world, and uh, pray for the peace of Jerusalem, but I just want to put this Put, I want to set the record straight. There is no Israeli ground invasion. Nothing even close to a ground invasion. Okay, uh, The peace is here. Matter of fact, there was a great calm that came over the city of Jerusalem last night. And I was outside and I did a video and put it on YouTube for you. I know that thousands of you already watched it. Twenty some thousand of you already watched it. And it was, there's a beautiful peace, calm that's come over the city. And uh, today we walked almost all the way around Jerusalem on foot and uh, there's peace. There's, it's peaceful right now. So we just thank God for that. Right now it's peaceful. God bless all of you. Shalom, shalom. Be blessed. I'll be back later today and I'll be live at 12 noon Eastern right here on the coming apocalypse. Are you serious? Are you serious? What? <laughs>